it's snowing outside my window. I know, I know, it's the month of December, but it's snowing. December the 7th, 2017. Good morning, YouTube. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, precious brothers and sisters. Gather around, pull up a chair. Let me know this morning, what are you going to share on this snowy, snowy day here, at least in Michigan? What are you going to share with Pastor Dave? I've got my coffee with a little bit of cream, no sugar. Are you a coffee drinker? Let's slow down a bit. Are you a coffee drinker? How do you take your coffee? Are you having hot cocoa? Are you having some tea or soda or do you call it pop? Let me know in the comments section below. Hang on. A lot of news breaking today as we're looking at the imminent rapture of the church and end time Bible prophecy. I'm in a hurry. I'm heading out to Pontiac, Michigan today and then I'm backtracking back to Flint, Michigan. So much going on in the world today. Today we remember Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor Day. The day that the Japanese the kamikazes attacked Pearl Harbor and our thoughts and prayers are with everyone who had family and the loved ones who were there on that, that terrible, terrible day. Israel, Israel in the news. Jerusalem has been declared the capital of Israel by Donald Trump. Finally, a president that had the courage to acknowledge and declare what the world already knew that Jerusalem is the capital and always has been the capital of Israel. It's going back to the time of King David, the first temple was built. King David declared Jerusalem the capital of Israel. And of course, you've got the far left and they're all, oh, there's going to be trouble now. There's going to be terrible, terrible trouble now. There's going to be unrest. There's going to be acts of terror. There already has been. For how many years? There already has been. It is not. Jerusalem is not the capital of the Palestinian-backed terrorists and terror groups like Hamas. It's always been the capital of Israel. Right now, they've got the U.S. consulate in, uh, in Jerusalem, but that's very small. And from what, what I understand, they're going to move. Trump wants it now. He wants it right now to be moved from Tel Aviv, the U.S. Uh, embassy, to uh, where it rightfully belongs in uh, Jerusalem. But from what I understand, it may take a couple of years. I want to talk about the wildfires in Southern California, apocalyptic type wildfires. But I don't want you to get upset. I don't want you to start thinking that this is the apocalypse. It's apocalyptic type wildfires. This is not the apocalypse. We're not at that point yet. But our prayers go out to everyone involved in these wildfires. I guess they're going to have high hurricane type winds today that's just going to fan the flames. I've seen on the news where a firefighter, firefighter rather, had uh, passed out from heat exhaustion. Our prayers to everyone involved. And uh, Al Frankenstein, Al Franken, the Democratic senator, is allegedly supposed to, doesn't want to, he doesn't want to get drained, this part of the swamp that, he doesn't want to get drained but Al Frankenstein, Al Franken, who is accused of all of this uh, sexual uh, harassment and groping and touching, I think Donald Trump's draining the swamp, is supposed to resign today. We'll see how that uh, plays out. North Korea in the news is upset. Little Kim Jong-un, the little dictator, leader of uh, North Korea, have you ever, do you remember, are you old enough to remember the uh, television series, uh, Fantasy Island? Remember Little Tattoo, he would come out, and that's how the uh, the show would begin, the series. He would uh, stand there and he would holler, deplane, deplane. And that's what I think of when I see Kim Jong-un. 
He's seeing these uh, joint exercises with the U.S. and South Korea, these big bombers. I guess they were supposed to have two. One had a little bit of a problem on takeoff, so they had this one big stealth bomber and all the fighter jets. And I could just see Kim Jong-un deplaying, deplaying. Well, he's mad. He's upset. And he has threatened war against the United States. Um, I want to touch on this, this Russian collusion nonsense, everything to try to destroy and tear down the presidency of Donald Trump. Now you've got this Mueller investigation. Now we come to find out the corruption. Hillary was not charged with any crime. Or, she, she lied to the FBI. And now we're finding, we're uncovering that Mueller has brought on all the people that he could muster up for this uh, uh, special counsel that are all Trump haters. They're all part of the deep state, the deep swamp to investigate Donald Trump and some Russian collusion that doesn't exist. And this FBI director now, uh, they're going through all of these emails and uh, text messages to see just how bad it really is. This needs to stop. Jeff Sessions, Attorney Jeff Sessions, should have never uh, reclused himself from this. He needs to, now he needs to do something or he needs to go. Attorney General Jeff Sessions needs a full investigation into the Clinton Foundation. The uh, Clinton emails, he needs to bring about a full investigation. And Mueller needs to go or Jeff Sessions you're done. You need to you need to step down. Step aside and let someone really do the job of the Attorney General of the United States. Ministry announcements. This ministry is so blessed. I want to thank the following. A precious sister who I love with all of my heart wants to remain anonymous for a gift of $100. And brother Eric, again, Eric, 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 $5 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, precious sister Phyllis, an amazing gift of forty dollars to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. One more sip of coffee. Hold on, hold on. I love you guys. That wasn't news in a minute. It was like eight minutes, but I love you. I couldn't play Revelation song. I wanted to. I got a spanking from YouTube. A warning but uh, the song is copyrighted and they, they, they gave me a warning this time and not to do it again censorship that against Christian channels there you go, there you have it I'll put the link to how you can support our ministry and outreach to the homeless below and this, where it says show more right below this video right above where you leave your comments just click on the, the show more tab join me tonight hopefully at 7 o'clock for Tiny Chat I love you guys God bless.